Howdy, Jason Journeyman here, and it's lunchtime. I'm hungry, I don't know about you. Got myself a delicious sandwich here. Very good. You know, food is really on my mind lately. Lines at the grocery stores, they're out of a lot of things. Uh, restaurants are closed, but you can pick up, but you don't know just how safe it is if they're wearing gloves or masks. And all these places where they process food far away, where people have gotten sick and they had to close down. Food is so important, right? We need it to survive. But do we always think of where it came from? Like this sandwich, for example. The bread. What is bread made out of? We know you have to grow wheat, and wheat and yeast and a couple other things are used to make bread. Wheat grows in the ground, it needs water and sunlight, it needs people to tend to it, to harvest it. Then it needs to go to a factory to be baked into bread. Then it gets wrapped in plastic, it goes into a truck, that truck ships it to the grocery store here and then I've been ordering my food lately online and so they put that into a bag at this grocery store and they ship it to me here and then I have it in my kitchen it's a lot of steps right uh, there's spinach and tomato in here those grow in the ground as well and someone has to tend to those as well and pick them on out of the ground in the hot sun doing a job that a lot of people don't want to do. Um, then it has to be cleaned and washed by someone, packaged up by someone, put into another truck to the grocery store, then from the grocery store delivered to me here. I also have cheese. Cheese is made from milk, so it came from a cow. A big cow, which has to eat a lot of food and drink a lot of water to keep making that milk. And then it has to go to a factory to be turned into cheese, then it gets wrapped in plastic, then it goes into a truck to a grocery store, and in another truck to me here at my house. And then I have turkey. Turkey was alive, and now it's not. So the turkey had to be fed and had a place to live, and then someone had to kill it. And then it had to be turned into deli meat and put into plastic, put in a truck to the grocery store, and to another truck to come here. There's a lot of steps in that process, right? A lot of people involved. A lot of different individuals at different points touching that food. And they're all essential because they're getting the food to me, right? Those are essential workers because that food is essential to me. But when you start thinking about all these steps and the impact it has on those people uh, who are putting it together for me, and what about the impact on the planet every time one of these things is shipped in a truck from one place to another and that pollution that goes up into the air? Now, this doesn't mean you can't eat. Like I just said, eating is essential. But maybe when you start thinking about where your food comes from, it makes you think a little bit more about what you decide to eat, that maybe you could choose something that's a little more local so it doesn't have to travel as far or maybe make sure that it's organic so that there isn't poisons being put onto the vegetables that you're eating or onto the feed that the turkey eats that goes into the turkey or that the, the poisons aren't going into the ground, into the earth. We start to think about our impact on the planet and the people around us and realize how we're so connected to each other. Everyone here, everyone on this planet and the food that we eat, all part of nature, all part of this planet. And when we do eat, we can make choices to be kind to that whole system and be kind to each other. Next time you're having your lunch, think for a minute about where it came from and what kind of impact it has on the planet, on the environment, and who it took to get that food to you and all the work that they put in. And if you don't have access to food, um, I'm no expert on this matter, but I have friends who do work in that area and send me a message and hopefully I can connect you and help you out. Um, 
And that goes for anything that you ever see on any video I ever make. If you have a comment or a suggestion or a correction, please tell me because I'm always learning just like you. I'll see you next time.